In this video, we're taking a look at the open mics around the Fort Worth area of Texas. So if you want to get a sense for what the bars and breweries and wineries and saloons look like around Fort Worth, if you want to get a sense for the music scene of Fort Worth, then check out this video. And I'm featuring 24 different venues here, so let's just kick this off right away with the first one. We're starting on Sunday, and we're starting here at the Rhinestone Saloon, which is in the Stockyards area at the top of the hill. This is a popular place for some rowdy country music on the weekends, and so a lot of performers like to play here and experience the stage with the kind of crowds that'll happen to show up on Sundays here. When I've been, has been hosted by Hayden Hilliard or Braden Stewart. And the latest news is they got a new one now on Wednesdays. Next up is a new bar that's been more recently promoting songwriter type events called Cicada. Located in the South Main area of Fort Worth, and this one's hosted by Tommy Luke and Dippy the Dog. It's a bit of a mellow open mic here, but you should check it out. Tommy Luke is a cool dude, a fun host, and I enjoy watching him play when I go out to his open mics. You get to play there on the big stage with the loud music going on, so you can take some video of yourself up there. Next up, we're going into the West 7th Street area of Fort Worth. This is a very popular and vibrant nightlife area. To a place called The Local, where they got the Songwriters Social on the last Sunday of the month. This is one of the few times where they actually have live music around this area of Fort Worth. So it's your chance to check it out and play there and see the crowds that come in throughout the day. A lot of people start their day here and then they go along and uh, bar hop to all the different places around the area. And this is hosted by Destiny and Bronson Lewis and they're really great and supportive hosts. And there was a really nice kind of uh, open community of people who are there. I had a good time hanging out and talking to them on this Sunday afternoon. Next up is the poop deck. This is a jam session that happens earlier in the day. And being a jam session, it's different than the typical open mic. They often have a grid of the different instruments that people play, and they have a huge community of people. They seem to show up uh, every time for this. They know each other, they've played together, and they have a lot of friends that come out and really fill this place up for this jam here at the poop deck. Another jam is Dirty Water Saloon. They have a regular band that plays the first hour here and they're really talented and uh, fun to watch. And then they open it up to regulars. Again, they've got a lot of players that show up, a pretty good uh, amount of people that are hanging out. And uh, apparently they also have a pick-in around the campfire event here on Wednesdays. Okay, now we're moving to Mondays at this place called Poured Bev and Company. And it's located in Crowley, so it's a little bit off of Fort Worth. And it was hosted by Ryan Mack. I really enjoyed this one. I think there is a good and open community here. You could, I met some uh, interesting uh, people that I enjoyed talking to. It is a bit of a jam if you want it to be. They're happy to play with you and they're talented players. Although it does start a little later than advertised. So be careful if you're showing up a little bit early, you might be hanging around for a while. Next up is an event by the Fort Worth Songwriters Association. You could check their website. I'll have a link below to update. This was located at the point, but a latest check of their website shows that they've got a new location at Fred's Texas Cafe. Kind of an older crowd here, but you can go up there and do your solo thing as a songwriter. And again, they're very friendly here and they are very happy to help fill me in on the Fort Worth uh, music scene. So be sure to follow up on where things are happening at the Fort Worth Songwriters Association. Next up is a Yellow Rose Saloon. And when I went, this was hosted by Troy Allen and uh, he was a pretty funny uh, host. And again, I you know, had a good time. It's kind of an intimate and small place. These things are changing all the time. I think they might have a new host or rotating hosts, and I think this uh, might be a bit spotty, so be sure to check out on the website what's going on here if they got it at the Yellow Rose Saloon. Next up is Shotsies. This one happens up in Keller, and it's hosted by Ray Quesada, and he's got 11th Angel there, who's happy to support you on bass when you're up there. They got a lot of solar performers now, but they are kind of uh, encouraging the jam scenario to happen. And while we're here, I might as well also mention this open mic that just recently popped up, also hosted by Ray and 11th Angel. It's at Soulfire Brewing Company in Roanoke on Saturdays. 
Next up is Red Dog Saloon. This is hosted by Rich Doty. So you get to go up there and play some songs. They did have an early kind of jam player session in the night, but then I just went there by myself. And apparently they've got an open jam on Thursdays too. Next up is The Lake House. This is a new one that just popped up. And so I haven't seen the new one hosted by Jonathan Arthur, but the footage I got here comes from Texas Tailgate Mondays, which was happening with Dusty Motes. So you could drive out a little bit off of uh, Fort Worth uh, by a lake. Okay, now we're moving to Tuesdays, and this is one of the best open mics that I've been to across Texas, the Magnolia Motor Rounge. On Tuesday, we probably have 15 to 25 songwriters in here a night. Yeah, that's pretty damn amazing. In the middle of the summer, to have a bunch of guys who care enough about songwriting to show up on a Tuesday and stay here until 1 in the morning. Pouring their hearts out for everybody. The crowd's been awesome. Max has been awesome. So we just want to thank y'all from the bottom of our hearts for supporting this songwriting night. We are going to keep it about songwriting as much as we can. This one is hosted by Tyler McCollum. Also on Tuesday is McFly's. This is a cool bar with a Back to the Future theme. So a lot of cool looking stuff around there, a fun place to hang out. And this is also one of the top open mics in Fort Worth. They've won awards for being the best open mic. So there's a good crowd, a consistent amount of people that show up, and it's uh, also hosted by Tommy Luke. Panther Island Brewing is located between downtown and the Stockyards area of Fort Worth, and it happens on the last Tuesday of the month. They call it the Panther City Pickers Open Mic Night, and this is hosted by Rex. He was really talented. I enjoyed seeing him play, and apparently they'll give you a free six pack if you play. Next up is Bedford Ice House. You know, you never know what you're gonna see when you go to an ice house, if it's gonna be outdoors, on dirt, and so on. But this place is a really nice place that has some pretty good bar food there. And they got some really loud sound. And so I caught Rick on lead guitar, Deborah Martin, a lead singer, Dan Miller on bass. Again, this is a community. So a lot of folks who play here, they kind of play with the intention of hanging out with their friends and spending quite a bit of time there. I think it could be a little difficult for solo songwriters because they've got a really loud, energetic band that goes on and it's hard to follow that. But they'll let you do it, and they're also happy to jam along with you up there. And they do have the list that goes out at 9 o'clock after that first hour or so when the band is done playing. Now we got 8-Ball Billiards. This is located in the River Oaks area of Fort Worth. And I just stopped by, but there wasn't happened to be anybody playing there when I stopped by. And it was a smoking bar, so I didn't hang out for too long. So if you feel like a smoking bar and you want to check it out, Look for 8-Ball Billiards on a Tuesday. Okay, now we turn to Wednesday at Shaw's Patio Bar and Grill. This is located in the Fairmount Southside Historic District. So I like to have an excuse to come out to this little strip and walk along in this interesting area, grab some bar food there, play some songs, and this one also is hosted by Tommy Luke. Next up is the Chop Shop. This is located up in Roanoke. And this is, of course, a big music venue. If you get your band together and uh, can try out and get a gig here, that would be a cool place to do it. And so it kind of has a little bit of an appeal for folks doing open mics here. When I went, it was hosted by Jason Custer and Andrew Plank as part of the Texas Music Network. And so I believe they're still doing that uh, once a month or so. Better check their website and confirm if you want to go and do one of the open mics at the Chop Shop. Okay, next up is the Wine House. This happens every third Wednesday, and it was hosted by Alan Haida on Instagram. He's Guitar Time with Al. He's a very kind host, and in fact, uh, the, had a little community of people here who knew each other and were hanging out, and they were supportive. So I had a good time playing here and drinking a glass of wine. Also on Wednesday is Nos Bar. Now you got to go out to Azel for this, and this is the Hump Day Expression Session. Folks are getting their drinking on a bit earlier here on this night and this is hosted by Brian. He's a cool dude and they do have other live music going on so you could check this out if you want to try to play a gig there one day. Next up is a place called The Finish Line and this is on Camp Bowie and it's located in West Fort Worth. This is a jam and so you uh, sign up your name right below amongst the other names there and you can have that band join you. They're a pretty good band. So I did that, had a good time. Now this is a smoking venue so be aware you're gonna have to deal with a smoky atmosphere here. Okay, now we move to Thursday 
Monday, and I got an open mic in the Stockyards area, which is uh, nice and fun always. So this is at Pearl's Saloon. They've been much more recently posting and promoting a lot of live music there. And this one's hosted by Bronson Lewis. And again, thanks to Destiny for all of her help with Hoping and the two of them for supporting the open mic community. Go and play up there on the stage and try to get in the door here playing there on the Stockyards. Next up is Johnny B's. This place is a bit unassuming from the outside, but then once you step inside, it actually has a really cool look to it, like a cocktail bar, except that door that closes really loudly behind you. Watch out for that. So they got their local crowd here. They're super nice and kind. And this was hosted by Brian, and the vibe and energy here just felt different than any of the other places. It was really mellow, and so it actually kind of changed how I played my songs and played out for them. Them. So that was very interesting. I had a good time there at Johnny B's. So that's a rundown of 24 different open mics that are happening in Fort Worth. In fact, this video uh, came about after three months that I had spent in Fort Worth. So this is not the first video that I've done on the open mics around Texas. I've got some for Dallas and Austin and the Hill Country and Houston. And so I'll put links to those below if you want to explore playing music all around Texas. I also have videos about the scene of Fort Worth and uh, what the city looks like and what the music scene looks like and the venues. So I'll put that in the end screen here where you could learn more and in the description below. And you can generally check out a bunch of videos on my YouTube channel about touring around Texas and the music scene around Texas. So hit the subscribe and the bell button to stay tuned on my posts. Let me know in the comments what else I should check out. Thank you for your support.